the queen of spades deals with self mastery this is the self mastery card and so you as the queen of spades you dealing with the mastery of yourself the mastery of life in general so we talking about you are the authority one that i mean who are intuitive receptive but you're also the one who like to lead and direct and so you co-rule co-rule with the king of spades the card of wisdom or the master card and so you just got just you got just as much powers as the king of spades or any other card even though you're the queen the queen a space say that you are an excellent manager of others. Like I say, you are intuitive. You got the psychic ability. And Paul because all the mother, the mother spirit got the psychic abilities. And you are the contributor. You are here to contribute to the highest type of accomplishments. It's in you. Responsibility is part of your nature. You know what I'm saying? And that come along with you planning on being on top. You know what I'm saying? Authority is a part of you. And so you had a willingness to apply the self-discipline to set you to the path of your true destiny. Because the self-mastery is what help you balance yourself out. Just give you the discipline. And you have a direct access to the spiritual world. A wisdom, the, the spiritual plane of wisdom. And you should use your amazing potential to achieve great results on both the spiritual level and the realistic level or the practical level. It's because you are a quick learner and you could be the one who's still on the go, restless, like other queens of authority. And you tend to make many experiences. And you and you experiments you you tend to experience life and and experiments is a part of you before you settle on any career you got to uh experiment with it you know what I'm saying and you got to know what you want that i mean cuz you you understand the necessity the, the necessity for education and training so teaching and healing are the powerful size of your gift you know what I'm saying? You are the, the, the female energy that has the, the masculine attitudes of the mind and habits of thinking. And so as the queen, you can make good f f physicians or doctors. You know what I mean? Because you're well grounded in knowledge and skill. But you must gu guide uh, gu you must guide Against your secret, secretive nature and concealment of things that should be brought to the light. You have a high degree of intuition that may be developed. It's up to you. All this energy is up to you who's born under this card. And a positive attitude is a must to keep yourself ha uh, healthy and to keep you in the right state of mind. And so you must avoid the law, but must the law, but must train your minds in a logic and reasonable uh, manner. Biggest satisfaction comes through patience, service, and love, and self-sacrifice. Do what I mean? I mean from your wisdom of labor, and, and you know, what I'm saying, and finding the truth and bringing the truth to the world and the light. And you have the healing powers and the will powers. And th this right here. Will help you along with your kind, nurturing manner. You're here to aspire, counsel, counsel many people. So as the queen, you have the creative artist talent, the gifts. That I mean, and this may manifest in your youth. And you might be a, a, a actor, a singer, or a dancer, or anything that deal with creativity. And you may have writing skills, writing ability. You might be a great inspirational writer. Also, so with it being said, you're here to use your talents, your gift to help many people and to nurture many people. You just that, you got that powers. You have a very expensive taste. You like the finest things and the best things, but it's understood because you're part of the royal family. Sometimes people of this card, the queen of spades, they often end up 
in low positions where they bitterly, bitterly complain about their positions in life and never amount to much. It's so for you to use your energy because you got all this energy. Why you won't do nothing with it? You have to do something with it. And so once you do, you become that power because if your gifts is used, you can rise to the greatest heights of your attention, your desires, and your will. That I mean, become the true mother of the world who has compassion and share this compassion and teach your wisdom. Because all of you who have this energy is born to rule. But you must realize this, you know what I mean, and access this powers. If you utilize this powers for materialistic gain, you may lose your powers and your potentials. And so you must use it, use your power for the spiritual aspects, you know what I mean, to help others, you know what I mean. And this is how you rise to the highest potential, by following your inner guidance or your intuition. I mean, so this makes you highly intelligent. You're an able leader, and you can bring much success when you're dealing with education and writing. And you, you have a strong independence streak and a high degree of intuition. And so assessing your highest potential, potentials often get you involved as a teacher or a leader of some kind. You know what I mean? So you, so you should avoid mixing love and money. Because there's always trouble when legal matters arise. And so if you mix in love and money together, it's not going to work. It's just basically it. You know what I mean? It's love over money. So it's always got to be a separation. And you got to know how to finance this money. And don't be all about that money. You're all about that love. And so... You would do your best to avoid arguments with men in powerful positions. And this is how you win. Because you love to spend money and you hate get, getting the short end in illegal affairs. But you usually do. So you must be careful and do your best when you realize your place as a royal queen. Because you're part of the royal tribe, the royal family. So you must access your inner powers, your inner guidance. Because this is definitely your birthright, you know what I mean? Because you are like the eyes of the spirit, the eyes of God, the eyes of nature, you know what I mean? And you have everything it takes to win. Everything, you know what I mean, to win, to, to excel in anything. You as the, the queen of spades, people, male or female, you has high ideas about love and marriage. So how that it could border on fantasy in some cases. You know what I mean? So you must watch out for that. It always seem to be a loss when dealing with money. You know what I mean? When dealing with money, it always be a be it always see it always be a large loss of money when associating with love. So that's why that's why you can't mix love with pleasure or love with I mean, love with money or nothing like that there. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't mix materialistic with pleasure or love with money. It's simple as that. You know what I'm saying? You want to be prosperous. You want to be that way. And you want to have a partner like that, but it don't usually appear that way. You know what I mean? Most likely later in your life, that's when you most define success. And fulfillment in love. So don't give up your dream of happiness before then. Just keep striving and be persistent. Because you have a strong independence nature that can bring close bonding to a relationship or anybody. Also, your strong independent nature can make your partner want to avoid that or anybody. And so try to compromise. So you as the queen of spades with this female energy, that I mean, teaches people that we only need to be, we only need to be aware of ourselves in order to master the universal powers or the universe within ourselves. 
So you teach us to go within. You know what I mean? Because you are the card of self-mastery. So when we are in touch with our own self, with the self-love and with our feelings and with our thinking of how we, how we think and our attitudes and our feelings, we create a beautiful world of peace, of joy, of the highest uh, potential. So you can do anything once you master yourself. When you analyze your thoughts, your feelings, and correct it, you know what I mean? Correct it. And just let the energy flow through you because you know how to operate. You know what I mean? When you look within yourself, your intuition to live by it. This is how you went. And uh, the Queen of Spades female is often married to club males. You know what I mean? The male Queen of Spades person feel closest to diamond females. It's just that simple. So with it being said, you are here, that I mean, to be creative and use your powers and to show people how to look within themselves. And this is your powers, that I mean, to inspire people to become their highest potential, their highest powers. And this is through work, labor, labor, service and health that i mean it's from all these different aspects that i mean you you're here to help people to work labor labor service and health and this is how you reach your highest uh, spiritual potential and spiritual harmony within yourself and so now i'm going to your planetary ruling card which is you're a Capricorn and you're born on January the 2nd. So your card is the King of Clubs. So this is your second card. And King of Clubs is the card that is the master of knowledge. So this is a powerful card you got as a Capricorn born on January the 2nd. Wow. And so the King of Clubs is my card, my son card. So with it being said, look up this card, the King of Clubs, through audios, through through videos, or or read about it. They got it all over the internet. You can, you'll find it. What it means. So this is what it be. Is I can't let bring you the light. Get still realer than this. I'll shake.